Jenny and I'm here with Fletcher for today's challenge. We're going to be teaching a fist bump, a shake behavior, as well as a wave behavior. So the wave is going to be a little bit of our level up. Um, it can be a little bit more challenging for a lot of dogs. Um, but the fist bump and the shake are pretty related. One is going to use your dog's nose. The other is going to use their foot. So Fletcher and I are going to start with the fist bump and then I'm going to get Crux out to work on shake and then Fletcher's going to come back for the wave. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes. All right. So fist bump is probably going to be the easiest for a lot of our dogs, especially if you have a dog that likes to poke their nose into things. All you're going to start with is a closed fist and some tasty treats. So you're going to say fist bump and present your fist. And when your dog's nose touches, yes, and give a treat. So just like this. Fist bump. Oh. Reset. Come on, sit. Good boy. Fist bump. Oh. Fist bump. Yes. Good boy. Sit. Oh, that's down. Sit. Fist bump. Yes. Good boy. I know we've been working on wave and it's tricky. Fist bump. Yes, good boy. Fist bump. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good job. Sit. Fist bump. Yes, good boy. So if your pup doesn't immediately go for that fist, that's okay. Just wait them out to see if they'll go sniff and check out your hand. They typically will. And then reward them um, after saying yes as soon as that nose hits your hand. If your pup starts pawing at that hand or um, swiping at the air or jumping at you, which is some stuff that Fletcher is prone to do because he gets frustrated, I've also tripped him up a little bit because we have been working on the wave, so he's trying to add that into the mix. And if they do that, just go ahead and take that hand away. You can reset them, ask them for a nice basic behavior to get them settled again, like a sit. Hey, buddy, get up here. So you cast them over, right? Sit. Fletcher. I know. Come here. Touch. Oh, yes, touches are great. Good boy. Good boy. And you can try that fist bump again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head on to shake. All right, so Crux is going to be working with me on shake, kind of one of our classic trick behaviors. And this is for your dog to put their palm in your hand and you offer your hand um, palm up. So um, what we can try at first is if you have your dog in a sit and grab some tasty treats, <laughs> good job. You're going to offer the, your hand palm up at about your dog's knee height or elbow height. Yes, if they raise that foot up, say yes and give a treat, even if they don't touch your hand at first. Yes, good job. Yes, good job. Yes, good job. If they touch your hand, yes, good job. That earns a treat. Now, Crux is actually more naturally, <laughs> more naturally a, um, a nosy dog. He likes to poke things with his nose more than he likes to paw things unless they're at ground height. So for him, I actually had to work on this a little bit different and I'll show you how I built that up. And I had to start with a treat in my hand and presenting my hand with the palm up. Yes. And then giving him a treat out of that hand. Yes. Good boy. And then eventually I'm offering that hand without a treat in it, but still that closed hand shape. Yes. Good boy. And then pulling my fingers back so you can see more of my palm. Yes, good boy. And he's getting a treat from my pouch from the other hand. And then eventually lengthening those fingers out until we have the full normal um, shape cue. Ready? Yes, good boy. Good job. When you're ready to add um, the verbal cue, your dog should be offering that foot and hitting your hand um, pretty consistently. And all you're going to do is you're going to say, oh, oh, you go get her. Come here, you. Ready? 
Shake. Yes, good boy. Say the word, offer your hand. Yes, and then reward. Cracks. Shake. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Very nice. If you want to modify this and make it a little different, you can do an up high and a down low. Cracks. Down low. Yes, good boy.
job, buddy.